question. And will Aloha be able to keep up? I'm just more interested in Archer's game plan because his <laughs> mind comes up with some very interesting solutions at times. <laughs> and uh, we will be very sure to react to those as we see them come out. Of course, of course. You know, Aloha though, locked in. And again, I'm not, okay, going to small battlefield for game one. If it is the Bayo, that could be terrifying. Bayo, I feel like, drives on small battlefield, finds those kill confirms so easily. We've seen Lima oh, do it. No, it's ZSS. Oh, we're seeing the ZSS, okay. Okay, so this is not better as we expected. ZSS, very highly mobile character. And it's gonna be interesting. So the thing about ZSS that I think uh, she, like an area she could trouble in in this matchup is Pikachu obviously known for all of the pancaking that he does. ZSS, with the Zare as a big part of your game plan, with Fair, with all of these aerial moves as a big part of your game plan, I feel like Pikachu can kind of exploit that so well. Yeah, ZSS is like the queen of precision because her gameplay is so beautiful when she's able to get those like very, very like well spaced and like fine hitboxes. But like the thing with Pikachu, as I was saying, with the like, pancakes makes it hard, as well as like things like if you get caught out without a flip jump, like Pikachu can like bury you off with like back air and fair. So like there's gonna be a lot of like different like micro dynamics that we're seeing in this single game. I thought that might have been the, the flip jump into the kick. Not quite. Archer choosing to just uh, hold stage instead. Up smash though. Are you sending? Whoa! He's going for okay. crazy flip kick. <laughs> Trying to see if he's getting Aloha air dodging or like traveling into it with rips. A lot of down smash on the side of Hump Picky. Yeah. That ZSS F tilt, crazy move that people talk about too often. Very fast and it's a good spacing. It's like it's just you can force them off. If they don't DI up, sometimes it's just a tech chase like down smash. I think F tilts in general aren't talked about as much as they should be in this game. I feel like all the spaces have amazing F tilts as well. I mean, obviously Wolf and Wolf for his up tilt, I feel. But Fox and Falco, amazing F tilts in their own right. ZSS has a very similar F tilt as well. Yeah, that back is not going to be able to take that stock. ZSS is a very light character, however, that was not like inherently the strongest move Pikachu, but he does have up throw kill percent right now and waits for the spot dodge and gets it as I was like speaking about it. Yeah, good patience on the side of Aloha. The keep moving tag. I'm sorry, what move what, what just hit him? I looked away for half a second. I don't know. The back air coming out, sniping Pikachu out of the air. And I mean, you talk about precision, you talk about how beautiful ZSS can be when she finds her mark. Nair flip kick? Oh, no. not, not the sweet spot. Yeah, a little bit off with that spacing. Yeah, but good stuff on Aloha for having the, uh, the correct DI there. Yeah, even though we don't get like a big like spike, like hitting their flip kick is still like 30%. And both of these characters, like their combo games, like do around similar. So that's still like winning a neutral opening essentially. Oh, 100%. Another back air coming out from Archer. Aloha actually recovering high, recovering in free fall, but doesn't get punished. Okay, Archer, awareness from playing Pikachu, then just do this on the down air. We'll shoot both and then find this opening. <laughs> was, he, was he trying to catch like a jump fair or something? I love just like to fight out of the other corner. I, I actually really like that idea now that you mentioned it. Yeah, yeah that's like that, that's part of like the archer goes for some creative options kind of thing that I was talking about. Like if he has like a hard read on you, sometimes he goes for some he, he like goes for some options that are very unconditional. And it's funny, uh, Archer was Aloha's like up throw thunder coach back in the day. <laughs> That's true. Now seeing it come out, not quite killing that Huffy though, is going to be killing it now. Archer going to be the one with the stock lead, two to one on the ZSS. Yeah, ZSS now gets kind of paid, play, dictate whatever pace that she wishes. Trying to come for a back throw oh, flip kick. Oh, a phantom kick. hit. Okay. Hey, Pikachu, look, <laughs> these doubters are starting to come out. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see the game plan. <laughs> Oh no, yeah no, Archer played a bit wild, but that back air, not quite killing Pikachu back air, not the strongest if it's on stage. The flip kick saying, stay away from me, the up up me. saying, stay away from me, I don't want to touch you. That Nair flip kick, again, not quite finding the spike hitbox, but still good damage and good stage control. Aloha just cannot find its way back into this neutral game. Mums yep. Cookie is doing such a good job keeping the yellow rat out of his zone. The dash attack, breaking through that wall. Yeah, Pikachu fighting back saying, Yo, I was in the same path as the Subspace Adversary. I can fight back too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back air carry off. Uh -oh. It's a little bit spooky. Okay, you have flip kick though. You're very, very good at making it back to the stage as ESS. Yeah. Unless it's... like you do like a really, really bad recovery, like it's quite easy to like make it back from a lot of places. No, I'm traumatized from playing it, you know, Aegis. Um, and from playing Wolf, when I get back aired, I'm like, oh, I just lost the game. <laughs> but on ZSS, like you said, amazing, uh, amazing recovery with that flip kick, with the jump as well. You can see all of the, the tethers that he has. Okay, good up air, able to stop Wolf off from potentially striking again with his up air. He's getting him off him. And all of a sudden, this game is really even. Well, that last up up smash will send you up into the air. I wonder what most of, most of probably looking for, like a back air, or like potentially like an up smash at this kill percent. 
Okay, grab whiff. Dash attack, good DI out. It's gonna be a little bit longer. Oh, backer didn't come out, but Aloha wasn't shield, so it didn't matter too much. But a little bit spicy. And you can <laughs> Yeah, no, I you these red up, smash. up smashes. And I mean, you mentioned the jump call out earlier. It's interesting because I feel like that works really well, specifically when Pikachu's in the corner is the issue. Yeah. I feel like Mom's Cookie looking for some kind of jump, some kind of grab there with that uh, that run up up smash attempt, and it just didn't work because it was center stage, you know? Yeah, it's like the option is like fine, like when you like throw it out like sparingly, because like it catches people. It's, it's, it's like a catch them off guard option, because that move is not safe on the shield. Exactly. Kind of thing. exactly. And like when you throw it out for like the third time, like within like 20 seconds, like <laughs> it either is going to work amazingly because they're going to think yeah, there's no way you're going to do it again, or it's going to get punished. Exactly. And you got, you got that time. I mean, you know, there's the saying, you know, don't over adapt, don't adapt until your opponent adapts. But when it's when it's lost stock, I don't know if it's always worth the risk. But either way, okay, good grab. We really get him off. The thing with like ZS's grab oh, is wow. like it's not like the greatest grab ever because it's not a lot of range, but it has a lot of end lag. But like you have to throw it out at points like addition people would like stop it from just shielding against you. Ooh. This is the turnaround. It's gonna grab absolutely nothing, but not taking a huge punish from <laughs> Wait, Skull Bash. Hold on, maybe he's taking a punish <laughs> oh, from this. Oh wow! I mean, we're talking about creative uh, advantage options from instead of Mom's Cookie. Well, we've been seeing a lot of Skull Bash from Aloha, and it hasn't been punished yet. In fact, it worked out getting the hit, like extending that advantage. I actually, really like that option. Aloha now just taking stage with that uppy. How do you how do you get back into this if you're Archer? I feel like Archer's covering a lot of like player read options right now. Like he's trying to like grab like specific like dash ins that he's trying to like, he's expecting. Like okay, good STI up to able to negate like taking too much damage from the down smash and he's send like a more favorable angle. Oh yeah, so he's trying to F smash him like yeah. downering even closer. Like Archer's trying to like snatch a stock. You're like I played you so many times, but like Aloha is just, like playing super hyper safe and being like I'm not doing that dumb thing right now. Oh, and the side B gonna be catching out. I believe that was the jump. The back air not quite hitting against Mark Aloha. Able to air dodge through the up throw. Not gonna kill because it is town and city. And Mumsuki has one more chance. Okay, to find this kill. Off this game. Oh, up smash almost catching the quick attack, but didn't come out just yet. It's really hard because, like, in these sets, like, ZS is just kind of the space bears because she's so short, but that dash attack is gonna be able to burst in. You can't roll there. Wow. You know, amazing stuff. Oh, and the taunt coming out from Mummy Cookie with a slight smile, trying to get in Aloha's head a little bit. It's, it's an even game, despite. I, I mean, I feel it feels like. No! It's, oh, and CSS. Yeah, he got gimped. The awkward trade is going to make sure that, that CSS dies because of that. And I mean, we mentioned the uh, the amazing recovery on CSS earlier. It is true, but you need to have your resources. The moment you're a little bit too low, all of a sudden, all of the horizontal uh, recovery options that CSS has just become useless. And that upbeat, because of the gimp, not quite going to be able to make it back. Much lucky though, has been holding this advantage ever since he dropped down from the angel platform. Yeah, he died at like zero, but like he's able to like rack up this percent slowly. Okay, good up B, able to catch Z Pikachu trying to poke at Zeus' shields. Yeah, that's a big part of the matchup is making sure that Pikachu does not feel comfortable landing on your shield with all of these multi-hits. The fair, the nair, the bear, all He's so entering good. dare mode. Oh no. I saw two dares come out. You know, you get, you get Archer to his last stock and uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> seeing a lot of dash attack as well. Okay, he's able to grab that up there. Okay, a little bit off of the angle, so not able oh, to set the thunder, but Skull Bash. Okay, good flip kick. Is he gonna dare? No, not, that's not gonna kill at zero. I, I thought. ZSS would thought die first. Second. It's true. If, if Pikachu was at like 40, it would probably kill. He kinda fainting the, uh, the aggressive option there. Pancakes! And there is the pancake <laughs> that I mentioned earlier. ZSS has so many horizontal options, and they all lose to being one with the floor. Aloha now. <laughs> Such a huge, comfortable lead. Choosing, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay back. I'm gonna neutral B at you. What are you gonna do about it? Okay. Let's just wait. Oh, 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 you're pressing nothing, but you're gonna live. Okay. Archer laughing oh. about it because what was that option? Oh, oh and another you down smash, win. another up B. Yeah, that's gonna be taking it despite the blast zones that Town has. That up B is so good because the shorter side blast zones, even if you DI up, you might just die for it. Yeah, a, a thing with like a lot of like 
when I watch people sometimes, I can tell there's certain players where like you, when you reach like the last stock and you're like looking for the kill, like at percents like that, it's kind of like when you're like trying to like punt the golf ball in, you know? But like, or you could see that like Aloha was looking heavily for like drag down Nair down smash for like the last 20 seconds, where like Archer was like not giving it to him, and then at the end, like when he got put into that ledge trap like situation a couple times, he just ended up like panicking trying to reset the situation, and Archer was able to capitalize and bring back that full stock deficit. He died at 10 percent and brought that back. Man, and I mean. I I mean, yeah, no, you mentioned the panicky options from Aloha. I mean, we were seeing that a lot from Archer. So much down air, so much dash attack, but nonetheless was able to lock in once he actually was able to find his way through that neutral game into advantage. Yeah. Now, the thing with Archer is when he gets to game threes, he starts playing freaky mode sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like there the down air is cool down air. There uh. it is. Wow. <laughs> okay, grab. We're going to get an F throw. Okay. Yeah, these T-Jolts are starting to stuff out some of like the, the landing options. But Archer is trying to like control this pace while Aloha is finding ways to like be in trap multiple times. Down is gonna come out again. Oh man, you know, Mom's Cookie has been uh, taking these trays, but taking them in stride as he's been holding the stage the whole time. That's so important versus Pikachu. The moment Pikachu gets advantage, or gets stage rather, and is able to just sit there, execute his game plan of neutral B, execute his game plan of I'm gonna run at you an aerial, it becomes so scary because your options are so limited, but when you limit his options, it becomes scary for him. Oh, and D -I -N. on the up smash. on the up smash leads to you dying at that critically early percent. And a lot of things I like notice is like Pikachu's like one of the strongest suits is that Pikachu's a very prolific edge guarder. But exactly. the thing that I'm noticing is that Mom's Cookie has only been like edge guarded in that really weird gimp situation. And then all the other times, like Aloha has been trying to like have him to kill him while like vertically off the stage. So that's like negating a huge stick of Pikachu just based off how Mom's Cookie is controlling the stage. Exactly, and I mean ZSS with that like down beat having that invincibility, that is huge in this matchup. A matchup where Pikachu wants you to be in a really specific spot with no resources. The fact that you have so many iron disposal can get around those Pikachu options, it's pretty huge, but Aloha though. Finding that, finding that kill. Okay, flip kick to disengage. We're back underneath the roof. That Pikachu is trying to like fare into you. Like they have to go like, like thread the needle. And ZSS is setting like directly center. You can just grab it every time or something. Or after. Aloha, making it back to center. Those neutral bees kind of. Oh, the flip kick not quite hitting again. Hasn't found the sweet spot. I feel like eventually we're gonna see it, right? Yeah, and it feels almost like a cannon event at this point. It's right? Flip kicks. So none of them have sweet spot yet. But like, we'll take the damage. It's better than getting nothing. And it's interesting. Okay, something I'm noticing from Mom's Cookie is every time that Aloha does the neutral beat, he a lot of the reason that he's taking all of these rage is he's just. Oh wow, I can't talk. He's just face tanking these neutral bees from Pikachu with a down smash of his own, just in case. Because Aloha, especially Pikachu, right, loves to run in with the neutral beam to take that stage control to call out some kind of action. But if you're down smashing every time, you are not allowed to run up and you might just die for it. Yeah, that was a really good spot dodge right there. Backward facing shield, like usually like Pikachu's like the back air, but like uh Archer has not been hit by any of those just yet. So like Tom like Aloha's not picked it yet. And Archer's able to just capitalize on like expecting a defensive option. This is the first time I think we've seen that down tilt actually do anything on ledge. That sounded way more toxic than I meant it to be. That's the first time we've seen that down tilt hit its <laughs> mark on ledge. Oh! Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Dead so early. Mum's Cookie finding it. And again, I mean, we, like we said, he's just so studied in Pikachu. Certain situations like those are just so bread and butter to him. It's insane. Yeah. Because I would say, like, that's probably, like, a losing matchup for ZSS. Because, like, right. like, that, like, how much finesse you have to have with it. But, like, having that Pikachu background, you understand, like, a lot of, like, Pikachu's, like, neutral tools and, like, how they have to look for kills and things like that. And, like, Archer was just able to capitalize on that and just be like, okay, now I can focus most of my mental on just, like, analyzing your disadvantage options or, like, analyzing, like, the pace of the game you want to play. And that, I felt like, was, like, the, the most defining parts and, like, might made that game three look so much more dominant than, like, all of the other, like, games. Yeah, no, I feel like... It's interesting because I feel like once Mom's Cookie found his kind of found his rhythm, found his groove, he was able to just call out so many options, just like that down smash. I mean, we saw it so many times. Once he realized, okay, these are the options I need to be covering out. I can take the damage, but I won't die unless Pikachu does these specific things. And once he found them, once he found what Aloha was looking for was able to just confirm every single time. Finding all of those down smash up is just so crazy.